Hello and welcome to Fulton Street Beats. As you can see, we've got this cool Jackson Kelly body in front of me. And this came from the Bald Shredder. That's right, Richard James has sent this guitar body over to me. And I sent him a Esmus Dinky style, Ibanez-ish style body in exchange for this. So um, he did a review, if you haven't checked it out, on this guitar. He, he actually made a trade for this guitar. Wasn't fond of this body shape. And I said, hey, I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty old school rock and roll. Let's do something with it. Now, I have pulled out the uh, grommets for the uh, bridge. And um, we're going to get started building this thing up. I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet. Now, I do have a neck. And this was off the Asmus guitar. And it has that kind of Orms, Ormsby, uh, I like to call it the Vlad the Impaler headstock. Very cool, cool headstock. And this, uh, it's got a nice fingerboard. Pretty cool guitar. Um, I did have to just go in and shave a lot of this because it wouldn't fit the neck pocket. It wouldn't sit up high enough where um, it'd give me the correct scale length. So I had to take a little bit off that to make this work up, but it was pretty easy. And now that's gonna sit in there quite nicely, hopefully. And, um, and now we should have our 25 0.5 inch scale length yes now we'll have that scale length that we need and uh so we can intonate this thing properly without it it was just too far back and it just i knew it wouldn't be right and i wouldn't have enough adjustment to do that now we do have our grounding wire still in here and i'm gonna have to move let's get started building this thing um i cleaned it up a little bit we're gonna have to do a build and then and then uh I need to redo it, but I, what I want to do is get this, these wires because they're kind of spread out so far. And these uh, hold out so easily that um, I want to get them grouped together where we can get a good ground connection. Now, also what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of wood fill in here, not because it really needs it, but just because it was a touch loose. And then we'll let, the, uh, we'll let it set up with the little bosses in it. So we're gonna do a little bit over on this side, not a lot, just to, just to touch, just to make sure everything sits in and firms up nicely and they still pop out when we need them to. And I'm just gonna put a little bit each side right there. That's it. Now, when we put them back in, um, easy peasy, nothing to it. So let's do that, we're gonna put our now this uh, plastic, uh, plastic wood filler, this thing's great. You can drill it, you can tap it. It works for a lot of stuff. And now what we can do is actually, now that we got that, we can actually take these, make sure we're clean around there, and actually press them in by hand as much as we can. And as you can see, it went in quite easily. And that was my point. I didn't want them loose. So that's the only reason we're using this stuff. Get that in there, same way. Yeah, so they're going right down. Oh, there we go. So they're, they're right down flat just by pushing them, so no tapping necessary, which is fine. And uh, they came in black ones. We're going to upgrade this. We're putting all silver ones in. Hope you, hopefully you guys like where I'm going with this guitar now. We're going to put some humbuckers in this thing. Yeah, we're going to put some some humbuckers in this, and uh, hopefully they turn out right now. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, now you guys tell me what you think here. This is our neck pick up here I'm thinking this and I think we go old school with white surrounds on this guitar I think that's gonna really pop and then we're gonna go old school with our tone knob and um, volume knob also here I do have to come up with a jack because there's not a jack in this and I can't find where all my guitar jacks went so we'll have to see but here's the bridge you're going to be using right there there we go and there's our bridge that we'll be using as you can see this is a string through body so yeah let's get start let's build this up and uh have fun with it guys stick around and watch so the first thing we got to do is get these surrounds and yeah i'm gonna go with the white i'm gonna go with the classic look a lot of people will go with black but hey you know what black's been so done um, i'm not gonna do that so let's start these in here get these lined up and get these rings on and look at these are the fat springs so they're a lot easier to work with 
Then those really long, skinny springs that are hard to compress. That's that simple, and I'm glad that worked out. Let's get the up. Let's get this one in here and down here. And this is already shielded inside with shielding paint, so we don't have to worry about that. We'll run that wire through into the cavity. Boom, easy peasy. We'll screw these down. Let's get the other one in, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think that's looking pretty, pretty good. I That's really nice, in my opinion. I think that color works with this kind of fade on this guitar. Gives it a nice, classy look, in my opinion. So hopefully you guys think the same. Uh, let's move on. We're going to start putting in some electronics. I don't know where I'm, where I'm going to go with the electronics yet, but I want to get this kind of built up a little bit so we can string it up, make sure the action's going to be right, um, kind of put everything in its place to make sure that everything's going to work, and I hope that makes sense to you. Now, keep in mind, this is just a mock-up because we're probably going to have to pull these out to actually wire and solder everything. But uh, we want to make sure everything's going to fit and be proper. So there's that. And then how we are going to do that is we're going to have our volume here. I'm not going to press it on hard. So we got to pull them back off. And our tone here. And hopefully this gives you guys an idea. That classic look that I am going for. And I think that's going to look fantastic. I, I'm really liking it. The, if it wasn't for this color, if this guitar was all black, I'd go with black hardware. But... I don't know, this just uh it's kind of nice, nice look to it right now. But we're gonna roll with that. Let's pull these off real quick. I don't want them on tight. And we're just gonna throw this switch in real quick. Just for test fit, make sure it fits. And go up in here in the cavity. There we go, it's gonna fit perfectly. Put our make sure put our washer on. Boom. I'm really liking that cream tip on it. Also, that looks nice. That in there like so. Get this thing set up. We can worry about wire, wiring last, but remember we're going to take this apart again and, and rebuff and make sure everything's really nice and correct on it. But I think that is uh, pretty cool. All right, look at that. So let's let's uh, let's move on and check this neck out. Let me move some stuff out of the way here, and let's see exactly how this neck's going to fit. Now we got I got the screws and the neck plate on here, and um, hopefully. We're about lined up where it should be, but okay. So yeah, I think we can start. I think I can mock this neck up and make sure it's straight and go from there. Um, stay right there. I'll be right back. All right. So what I like to do when I'm doing a neck is we get an initial hole drilled, but we give ourselves a little bit of wiggle room. So what I'm going to do is we got this nice and straight and flush on the side here, but I still got yet room to wiggle. If that makes sense. The neck back and forth. We know we're flush here in here so the neck can't move in the neck pocket from left to right but what it can do is alternate at the end and move back and forth this way so what we're going to do is line this up i'm not going to clamp it we're going to keep it just like this i'm going to let the pressure off and i'm going to grab a drill bit and i'm going to pilot a hole and then we're going to drill it and then we're going to set one screw just one and then we're going to string the guitar lightly and gently 
to make sure our strings are right. Now, I do this a lot differently than a lot of other people. This is just my method because it always works for me. I don't want to take out too much material either. I want to make sure that the screws that I'm using um, have plenty of material to bite. So I always undersize. And if you crack a guitar neck, you don't want that neck. Okay. So keep that in mind, but you do want to pilot it. So we're going to, we're going to fit it right in there. Let me, let me jump up one more size here. Yes, we're gonna jump up one more size, about right there, just so it fits in there. We're gonna pilot it. Okay, here we are. So you can see that our holes would have nowhere near lined up where they should have lined up. So now that I have this hole kind of where it's supposed to be, I'm actually gonna drop this size down one more, because, and I'm gonna drill straight down. until that net just like that not too deep not too deep at all okay so what i'm going to do now we're going to take this and now this is the old plate and yeah it's a bit scratched up uh it's got some it's in rubber but uh it's a bit scratched up we, uh, there we go so now we have a neck that we can work with and we can move it back and forth as needed and uh, what we do now is i'm going to check that yes we, now we can check that as needed when we need to and uh let me check double check scale length again and make sure we're at 25.5 and we are right there 25.5 right in the middle of that bridge where that bridge would sit just so you know let's double check it with the bridge on 25.5 right into the middle of those saddles and that gives you adjustment back and forth that's why we do that so now what I can do, we have one screw in there, and now what I can do is um, we can gently string this guitar up and um, and go from there. Okay, so we're gonna take a brand new set of nines and we're gonna start stringing this thing up. And then we're just gonna string up the, the low E and the high E and just get everything set right now. And then we'll tighten down the neck once we know it's running down the fingerboard properly. Okay, I ran into an issue, something I have not ran into before. These pack this package of strings that I have, the low E will not run, because this is a reverse headstock, will not reach the tuning peg. So we're going to have to do this um, based on, hopefully, the second string. So let's see what happens there. But we got the high E on, and look, nonetheless, it looks fantastic. So let's get another one on here, and we'll have to judge it by that one. Hopefully that works. Yeah, that's not the way I wanted to do this, but that's the way we're gonna have to. Okay, so right there is set where I need it. Yes, we should not do it this way. I don't recommend this at all, but um, that is about exactly where I need it. So, and there we go. So we should be set theoretically. Now it can't shift. And we'll check this really quick again. Sometimes you have to have workarounds um, when you run into issues, and that's really common. Um, a lot of videos you see people, oh, they just so perfect. They've made so many outtakes and cuts that it's ridiculous. Um, a lot of you can attest to that because no matter what, there's always an issue. Seems like there's always going to be an issue, but uh, I think, yeah, this is looking pretty good, and, and I think that's going to work out nicely. Let's get some more strings on this thing and um, we'll set the action and get that all set. We're just gonna give them all a little bit of a snug and make sure. Yeah, looking good. There we go. What do you think, guys? Now, of course, we're gonna have to clean this thing up a lot, <laughs> but uh, it's still pretty cool. We, we may do some, when we restring this again, we may do some uh, fret marker inlays on this, but I'm not sure. Um, I have them over here, and I've been actually waiting for a project to do them on, so we'll have to see, but let's uh, clip some of these strings off here. For now. And uh, this one, whew, she's hanging on by a thread. 
So yeah, I'm not impressed with the length. I never never realized that that they I mean they should all be uniform length and we cut the fit, but apparently they did not do that. So but she's strung up. I mean we can pretty much set an action from here, pretty much. Even without the low E, we can get it close. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll be right back. Well, I'm not sure how I nailed that, but um I guess even every dog every dog has his day, I guess. Um Or one millimeter all the way up raw like dead on one millimeter i don't know how that happened that is definitely never happened to me before where i set up a guitar and it's it's on so the below string might be off a little bit when we put it on but the other strings are dead on and you gotta make sure when you use a bridge that it matches really closely the radius of the fretboard by the way um you want to what you want to match that arch so got a couple bridges over here i should have said that to you first but uh there we go. Now I'm really seriously debating on putting some high-end electronics in this and uh, not using these. And we just might do that. But let's get these knobs on here and tell me what you guys think. Um, I'll tighten this down just a smidge. It's the official term. We can pull these off later on. I got a knob puller, so we can pull these off. We're just gonna kind of sit those on there for now. So, what do you think, guys? Very cool, right? That looking pretty cool. I think that's an excellent looking guitar, um, with a really cool headstock now, and uh, fit very nicely. Little sanding to make the neck fit in there, but it's, it's a proper fit. So um, I did fill in some holes in the neck from the other holes, and uh, boy, this is this is nice. This is actually a really cool guitar now. I'm very very happy and. Um, I like the sound of these pickups, so they're going to sound good, but we're probably going to change electronics and put something eh, a little more expensive in it, a little more dependable, if you will. Okay, make sure you hit that like button, share, subscribe. We will button this guitar up when we come back and get those electronics hooked up. And uh, tell me what you think about this cool guitar.